Hello, good morning everyone. A lot of people asked about how to create an exit condition where the stop trails a line, for example this super trend. Let's see an example. If we enter on this arrow and we want to move the stop following the the super trend line one of the possible options that we have on markers is using the signals that super trend paints and use it as an exit condition for example if we make this a different color for those signals so we can separate them then we know that uh, an up arrow in yellow is to close a short and a down arrow in yellow is to close a long we, we can make this trailing stop uh, closer to the price tightening the settings of the multiplier in the super trend uh, this one A combination will, will be using two super trends. I guess this is already done on another video where one super trend paints the entry signals and another filters the trend. For example, if we can add another super trend, with tighter settings so one shows the entry signals and the other filters the trend so th this signal is avoided because the, the higher time frame super trend is on short mode now it is on long mode so we take the first super trend signal to the upside this the short is ignored the long is taken this short is ignored and so on we only take the long signals on the faster to uh, on the faster super trend now the higher super trend is in short mode the long is ignored then changes to long mode and we take this long this will be using two super trends one to filter the signals and another to trigger the entry signals or we can have a non-related system like these signals from the and bars so we get a lot of signals and we only take those that are in the same direction than the super trend on this high trend we only take the blue arrow and on the down trend we only take the shorts and then we take only the longs this can also be done because as we can see below we can detect the trend of the super trend convert it into a markers variable and then filter markers when this is equal to plus one and only take shorts when this is equal to minus one we can do that on marker plus here we are copying the trend of super trend and on markers we want to trade blue arrows and red arrows 
So we configure those signals, a row up in blue and a row down in red for longs and shorts. And then to configure the filter, we use the name of the variable that we used on the super trend. My line one must be bigger than zero to go long or smaller below zero to go short. If we want to take the following signal but exit when we have a trend change on these yellow arrows, we can add the option to close position. And we close a long when we get a yellow arrow down. And we close a short on an arrow up in color yellow. The, the result is the same as having a trailing stop following the super trend line because uh, as soon the trend line is broken we get the yellow arrow painted and markers will exit the position. O on this example we have the signals filtered by the super trend and also the positions closed by the trend change. Hope this video has been useful for you and if you have any question please post below. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.